Hey guys, this should be a quick video to go through the steps on how to set up a development environment for building and running ASP.NET Core applications. I'll be going through the steps in this post that I put up recently and I'll link to it in the video description below so you can follow along and follow and use the links in it. First we'll be downloading and installing the .NET Core SDK which is used for actually building and running the, the .NET Core applications from the command line. Secondly, we'll be installing Visual Studio Code or VS Code as our code editor. And thirdly, we'll be installing the C Sharp extension to add support for C Sharp and ASP.NET Core to Visual Studio Code. Uh, the last optional step, we won't be performing in this video, but there's a link to the bottom if you want to download and run the example application. I'll, I'll leave that part out to keep this video short. Uh, all right, let's get started. First, let's download and install the .NET Core SDK by following this link to, to the Microsoft site download page and selecting the download .NET Core SDK button. Once that's finished downloading, open it up and click install. Once it's finished, you should see this message up here that the installation was successful. And to verify that uh, the .NET Core SDK has been installed successfully, open a command window and run the .NET command. You should see usage instructions there to check the version of .NET Core that you're running. You can execute .NET dash dash version and you'll see the version that you're running there. Okay, moving to the next step, which is installing VS Code. Okay, let's jump over to code.visualstudio.com and select the download link. Open the downloaded file. If you receive this pop-up warning, this is just because I'm a, I have admin privileges on this machine, and it's saying that I'm installing the user installer, and asking me if I'm sure that I just want to install it for this user. If otherwise, if I wanted to install it for all users, I should download the system installer. In this case, I only want to install it for this user, so I'll click the OK button, and then accept the license agreement and I'm going to leave all the other options as default and click install. Okay that's done. Can hit finish and launch this code to test it out. Okay as we can see it has uh, installed correctly. All right, jumping back and the final step is to install the C Sharp extension for VS Code to add support for C Sharp and ASP.NET Core to Visual Studio Code. Now jumping back to VS Code, I'll go down to the extensions section, enter C Sharp in the search box, select C Sharp Visual Studio Code, and click install. Now we can see that that's finished, so your development environment is now set up and ready to go for developing ASP.NET Core applications. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, please like or subscribe below. Cheers.